It's that time of year again, and we're ready. Check out how the city is preparing to keep the roads clear this winter. As we do every year about this time, uh, we begin to outfit our trucks for snow and ice uh, response. Uh, we take them from hauling asphalt to uh, carrying uh, traction aid and uh, put plows on them. We uh, go outfit our mag trucks so that we can apply de-icer and uh, get our piles ready for uh, the traction aid to be loaded into each truck. Uh, mechanically, what we're doing is, is we're pulling each truck in individually. We're going through it from top to bottom. Um, we're installing the plows, the sanders, going through it with a fine tooth comb, make sure the hydraulics work, um, all the bits are up to par. Obviously, uh, we can't hit everything at once, so our, we have prioritized how we address the uh, uh, snow and ice in the city of Bend. We go after uh, key areas, you know, main arterials, uh, medical centers, schools, uh, downtown, uh, and other business districts uh, and uh, go out from there. Uh, the crew that we have here at Public Works is really qualified. Um, they have tons of years experience in winter operations. Um, they're able to go back and forth between sweepers and snow plows. It could be on a daily basis or even up to an hour's difference. As part of our prioritization, we've established uh, a map here. Some people think we just go out kind of helter skelter, but actually we've div divided the city up into eight areas that can be uh, uh, addressed uh, and uh, equipment assigned with personnel addressing each area. Uh, that's our beginning point. Uh, the crew that I actually get to oversee is actually the 4 a.m. shift. It gives us a chance to get out before the schools open, uh, before the hospitals get a lot of business, and before people get a lot of traffic on the roads before they go to work. Uh, so we're able to get in there pretty quick. We have the largest crew at 4 a.m., so we're hoping to provide the the best service throughout the day just getting a head start on it. Obviously one of the critical points is in the higher elevations here up on Aubrey Butte. Uh, that's one of the first areas that will get snow and accumulation so we're, we're really keen on that to help set the, the tone and depending on how the storm comes it can be anywhere within the map uh, and we respond accordingly. We, we have people uh, 24 hours a day monitoring the situation. In our division, we have several tools that we can use. Uh, one is the road grader, which we do for peel and pack, getting into the neighborhoods and working. Um, we have uh, our plows, um, sanders, which we try to hit the road as quick as possible. And we also have our de-icer mag chloride uh, trucks, which we actually use. We try to pre-treat the ground before a storm. City code requires that all adjacent property owners to the sidewalk remove snow within 24 hours for residential properties and six hours for commercial properties. Code enforcement always wants to get that voluntary compliance, so right now we're just trying to educate the public to make sure that they, they are aware of what, what we need done. Our crew is really dedicated here at Public Works. Uh, they work 12-hour shifts, seven days a week sometimes, and during the storm. Um, they're here really to get the roads open and keep them safe for the traveling public. We do coordinate with ODOT and, and uh, Deschutes County in our snow response. We've uh, worked out where the turnaround points are and, and the, the areas of responsibility, so that's clearly laid out each year.